Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lecture. We have number 7 today where we're going to rearrange variable equations. Number 3, alright, there's 5 variables in these equations. Alright, I think these are the most complicated ones we're going to do, but we'll see. Alright, we have x plus k is equal to y plus w over v. I say this and we're solving for x in this case. And the first one, I think, is kind of easy, but that's okay. X is here. We're going to take the positive K and move it to the other side so we can get X all by itself. That means it's negative on that side. So that is X is equal to Y minus K plus W over V. And we've solved for X all by itself on that side. We should pat ourselves on the back for that hard work. All right. Let's hope they get more difficult. Maybe they won't. We have x plus m is equal to y p times p minus n. And it looks like, again, we're solving for x, but we want to get rid of the brackets. Brackets are not our friend when we're talking about variable equations. So let's get rid of that. We use the distributive property. So x plus m stays by itself on that side for now y times p is yp and y times minus n is minus yn we're then going to go ahead and move the positive m over it's negative on the other side then so that's x equals yp minus yn minus m and you may be going what are these equations well these are variable equations get used to it all right Let's do the next one, and I'm glad it's a little bit more, a little bit more challenging. G is equal to C X plus R D, and we're solving again for X. We've been looking for it for a long time. We're gonna find it. Okay, uh, we want to get X all by itself. We've got C and we've got R and D. And these are added to this term. This is the term we want to get by itself. So we can go ahead and we can actually just subtract both of these at the same time. They have to stay together because they're multiplied together, but we can subtract both variables from the other side. So this becomes G minus RD, right? Positive on one side, negative on the other, is equal to CX. And then we take the C and we move it to the bottom, right it's multiplied on one side it's divided on the other we're left with g minus rd divided by c is equal to x we're almost done we want to flip it around we like our variable that we're solving for on the left so x is equal to g minus rd all divided by c okay so a few more variables a little bit more moving around but nothing more complicated really than we did last time when we switched the bottom and the top uh, of opposing parts of the fractions. Let's do the next one. U is equal to A minus K plus V over W. And we're solving in this case for A. So that's right here. So we have these two terms that we want to move over. Nothing is multiplied by A. They're just added to it. So let's move the minus K over first. It's negative on one side. We add it to the other side. U plus K is equal to A plus V divided by W. And then these two terms are also just added to A. So we can take them and move them to the other side and they become negative when they go across the equal sign. So U plus K minus V over W is equal to A. And our last step is to flip it around. So the variable that we're solving for, this is a U, this is a K. Oh my goodness, I'll write it over here. A is equal to U plus K minus V over W. Okay, we just want to flip it around so the variable that we're solving for is on the left. If you guys have any questions, please, please let me know. But thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in class.